Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Right, we're still on the sword, obviously, as you probably saw from the uh, thumbnail. Last time we dismantled it, we uh, got it out of its shell, we saw the damage that was done. Relatively little internally, uh, quite a lot externally. So what we're going to do on this one is we're just going to take a look at that external shell. We're going to try a couple of things to sort that rust out and um, probably end up with the most extreme version of a repair um, and we'll probably take a little look at the power supply at the end as well although yeah we won't do much we'll just go over what we're going to plan to do for that I've got slightly bigger plans than just replacing it with an easy way let's try and make it a lot harder <laughs> um, so yeah we're almost uh, I guess at the point where we can start actually trying to get this thing to work as well. By the end of this one, we should be quite close to putting your finger back together. Anyway, let's get on. Okay, so we're, we've been trying to attack this rust to get rid of it. I first of all tried a couple of things that, well, I could do for free because I already had the parts for, for it, so we figured we'd try those first. I was fairly sure they weren't going to work on this rust because it's fairly ground in. But, um, so I didn't bother recording them, but yeah, I figured we'd try them anyway. So we tried uh, white vinegar, which can sometimes help with removing rust, and we tried... Uh, WD-40, which is here somewhere, which also can sometimes get rid of rust, which means we've got an interesting smell here. <laughs> now, what we did do was we cleaned it down, and uh, that's helped us basically get rid of lots of the rust that was coming loose and coming off, and we need that to do this process properly, because the stuff we're using now is quite heavy duty, and uh, yeah, it, it needs to be a as clean a surface as possible to work on and we don't want rust flakes coming off and stuff because what it does is it basically kind of has a chemical reaction with the rust and, and effectively kind of does something with turning it back into metal again. I'll be honest I don't know entirely but <laughs> it's an interesting thing anyway so there's lots of them there are tons of these things so uh, we've just chosen one uh, we've chosen this one which is a hammerite one obviously no spawn because any advertising company that decided to pay us money would be throwing it very much into a drain so um, yeah but we're using this one but there's lots of others out there and uh, yeah just need to do some preparation the cleaning was part of that preparation and now we have to shake this up put off camera because it's never going to look right and then we need to this is going to be good my voice is going to go all squirrely now because I'm shaking this thing as well uh, put it into a plastic container plastic because obviously it uh, has a reaction with metal and uh, then apply with a paintbrush. This is a paintbrush is wrong entirely. A, it's got a metal thing on there, which as we just said, reacts with this stuff. But also it's very small, but it's what I've got, so it's what I'm using. <laughs> uh, it should be fine. Now this has got an interesting one because you know if it's working on the rust because it turns a different color as you put it on. So you know almost immediately if it's working. If not, you kind of leave it on there and then reapply later on. So that's what we're gonna do. It may take more than one or two. And we need to try and get as much of it in one go as possible. Just the one side, obviously. And uh, you can't reuse any that you put in here. You can't put it back in because it's been exposed to the environment. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to put as much in here as we know we're going to need to cover this thing, but try not to do too much. <laughs> That's an almost impossible ask. So I uh, guess we're just going to go with it. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, yeah, it looks like a... A yop yop shake. Anyway, there we are. That's a fair amount. So let's see what we can do with that. Right. I guess we'll just start applying it, Bob Ross style. Right. Well, I think that's covered enough now. And as you can see, you are we are seeing some of that happening that is now going kind of a bluey grey colour and that's what should be happening. So now we need to hey, what do we need to do? I should probably read the instructions about. Right. 
Watch as the hammer I cross turns black blue. Whilst reacting with the rust, the variety does not change reapply within we within one hour. Okay, so basically we're now gonna leave this for three hours. Um Yeah. <laughs> so oh I guess we'll see what we come back to then. See you in three hours. Now you're probably thinking, <laughs> this just looks worse. Because that's what I thought as well. But this is normal. This is what this is supposed to do. So what it's done is it's converted the rust to what it calls stable metal elements or some nonsense like that. And what that basically means is that the rust won't get worse and it won't start flaking off and stuff. And so it should be safe to um, to sort out in many ways. So what we need to do really is we need to sand this down to make it nice and flat, and then we need to repaint it. And that's how we'll get rid of that rust completely. We won't do that now. <laughs> we will do another video repainting this, but what we really want to do, because I don't think it's going to make that great a video, so what we're going to do is we're going to start remantling, <laughs> putting the thing back together again, um, and we're going to work on the power supply a bit. Um, I think this is probably enough for this video though. But we'll, we'll go over the we'll go over the power supply a little bit. We'll put this to one side for now, and we'll go over the power supply a bit just so you can see what I'm thinking with that. Uh, it's a fairly simple solution. Uh, I'm waiting on one component to arrive to finish it off, but um, yeah, I think it'll work. So uh, right, let's wait a second and we'll clear this out of the way for now and we'll get the power supply in place. Right, so this is the original power supply. So, well, these are the metal bits anyway. And this is the internal part where all this stuff used to be. So all these are the old power supply bits. We have removed though some of the parts, so that's the headers that the rest of the system gets its power from. Uh, and I think it's the other board. Yeah, it's the other board. There we go. And we remove this one, which is where the power goes into the board. So what we've done is just put these to one side. So they are largely useless now. What we've done is created a, uh, a new PCB, which allows us to put those pin headers in. I uh, could have replaced them with new pin headers, but they're fine. The pin headers are fine whether we use them. Uh, we've been lining them up to make sure it all fits perfectly. So that would, what that will do, it will take the AC power coming in, feed the AC power into this power supply, which is just a, this is one of these standard um, almost arcade power supplies that people use. It's also used for lighting rigs and stuff. Uh, but this has got the exact output power we need. So it's got plus 12, uh, minus five, and plus five. These are the, those are the ones we need. So yeah, the AC neutral live will come in from here, utilizing the switch and the power block from here. So that will come in and go into here. And then all of those voltages will come out and go into the new board which will have the pin headers, and then everything should be able to feed off of those. Interesting, obviously we need to take this out of here, we've already kind of done that, so we can take that apart. Now this uses uh, a couple of things, it's parts of this case is heat sink, so you see it's got some heat sink compound there, some heat sink compound there, but that's absolutely fine, because this table, by the way, is ruined. <laughs> That's, that hammerite stuff went everywhere and it just kind of stuck. So we'll see if we can clean it, but I suspect that's not going to get any cleaner. Not in matters, of course, not a temporary table. So, uh, yeah. Let's get rid of the plastic band, that was for the test thing. So we will put this against here and against here. So it will be using the very heavy duty metal casing of the original power supply as its heat sinks and we're going to drill some holes to go through the different screws that this has got to hold that in place and that's nice and secure that's away from nothing's touching uh, there's plenty of space and we'll just try to fit our new board somewhere in here where we can also get to the 
the power uh, bricks. Now, is this kind of this is a different way because I think the original boards went this way. Uh, yeah, in fact, there's, there's gaps there, so they would have gone this way. We can't really do that because uh, well, I guess we could do that. We could do it that way. And then if we found some way of screwing that in there. Either way, it'll work. We'll work it out and we'll fit it in. But either way, that has to take this. Nice, that's too tall. Yeah, so it will be the other way. I know I worked it out. So that'll go in there. Like that. This will go on top. And our board will go in here somewhere, separated from this board. And everything will connect through this hole like it did before, except the stuff will be here rather than the way over here, which it was. And we'll have the advantage of having this uh, fan arrangement here still, that will still work. And it should kind of work exactly like it did before, which is handy. So um, yeah, I'm feeling quite confident this is going to work. I've never done an AC PCB before, so I don't know. It doesn't matter, worst case scenario, we can just take this AC power and just Put it straight into here which is designed obviously to do all that we're not going to do any like fusing or stuff on our board we are relying on this one to do that so that's possibly where the problem might come but either way we'll have a solution and we'll be able to solve it by doing that so yeah <laughs> it should work and yeah it's coming together so we'll do this power board next hopefully if the pcb arrives um once we've done this power board, we will start to reassemble the machine and then we will work out how to get a picture out of it for a start um, and then just get it connected to a screen so we can see if anything happens. Should be fun. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't like the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.